the first time I'm leaving Brody in England and I'm travelling to a different country. This is a big step as a mum. I just feel like it's really scary, really daunting, but I have to get out of my comfort zone. And the only way to do that is by taking these jobs when they come in. Hello. What's that? I've decided to take Bo with me on this trip. Bo is one of my best friends and she's also my makeup artist. Love you. Oh, I'm going to miss you. Love you. To be honest, I did ask Tommy to come, but, like, I weren't convincing because I didn't actually want him to come, really, because I'd rather, like, a girl's trip. But I love you. Yeah. So I kind of, like, asked him so he felt included, but actually, I wanted to take both. Mum, stick to what she said, though, yeah? Tom, I wrote everything here, Ooh, anyway. Right. Two pages. You think she's going to read that? You what? She thinks she I won't do that, Trap. I have a laugh with that. Well, every time he wakes up from his nap, he's... George, we know how it works. All right, bye. We need it too. Love you, baby. Bye, Mum. Listen, good time. Chill. Enjoy yourself. Okay, bye, Tom. Bye. So, where are you off to, George? I'm going to Madrid. Whereabouts in Italy's at? España. Where? Espan. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to Italy. <laughs> You've been to Italy before? Never. Yeah. And it's not really. It's in Spain. Madrid's what? the capital of Spain. Good morning from Madrid. I actually had a lay in, it's 9 a.m. It's actually feeling really nice to just lay in. I actually had such a good sleep except I woke up in the night. Um, I think I always do that when I'm abroad. But it was such a good sleep. I've already spoke to Tommy. They both woke up at six and I'm really happy I weren't there. <laughs> I got to sleep. So yeah. Ready for a big day at work? I know you guys are probably sitting at home thinking, oh, it's not that hard. Influencing isn't isn't a real job. But guys, it is actually a job. It is part of, you know, this crazy world we live in. And I've got to get to work and I've got to do it. I think I've got to a stage, I've been a mum like a year now. And it's just now like, I feel like my brain needs more than just baby stuff. I love being a mom, yeah. but I'm a better mom when I'm working, when I have something else to focus my mind on. I actually, the kids see a, a better side of me then. Yeah. Obviously, I love Brody like, I'm so much. But at the same time, I just need, like, even a day a week where I just leave the house. It was quite nice to talk to Catherine because she is a mum, so I feel like she got my fear of leaving Brody a little bit more. You lose yourself, yeah. don't you, a bit? Yeah. Because you're just used to being mum. Yeah. And she reassured me that it made her a better mum by leaving her children sometimes. So it gave me some hope. Oh, my God. <laughs> he's crawling. <laughs> Bro, he's crawling. So happy for himself, that's the cutest thing I've ever seen. I leave the country and then he full on crawls like six steps. Like, what? He's. A... It's trust Brody to do that. Oh, like, we've been trying every day, like, all day. And, like, that's the long. Oh, he's clapping himself. He's clapped himself. He's clapping himself. I'm fuming. Oh, I feel really sad. How have I missed it? Oh, I'm sad. Why am I crying? <laughs> I feel sad, I missed it. Oh. Oh. Good boy. So perfect, can't it? 